In this video, I'm going to find out for you how well you can play shooters like Onward, Bam and Pavlov in Windows Mixed Reality and of course, especially with these Windows Mixed Reality controllers. Hi and welcome back here at Mixed Reality TV. My name is Sebastian Ang and if this is your first time here and you would like to stay up to date about anything Windows MR and the VR and AR industry in general, subscribe now and click the bell button so you don't miss anything. I had already made a video about how well these controllers get tracked in space and you can check out this video here if you have not watched it already. You should totally check this one out. And this video now is a continuation of that video because lots of you guys have asked me how well does the tracking work in shooters like Onwards or Pavlov. So in this video I'm going to check this out for you. I'm going to play Onwards, Bam and Pavlov. Now, because this is more about the weapon handling, I'm not going to go into the games, but I'm going to play the tutorials and check out the weapon handling. And now, let's get right into it. Let's start with Onwards. And here, that's me in virtual reality in Onward, not Onwards, of course, in Onward. And well, this is the tutorial level of Onward, and I'm going to play it for you. So keep in mind that I'm not a competitive first person game player so well it's good to show you guys how a noob in these games can fare here with the windows mixed reality controller setup so walking is no problem you would simply um, use the touchpad for that and that works fine so now i can grab the weapon and the weapon is on my chest and i can grab it here with the grab button and now what I'm trying here, I'm trying to grab the button without looking at it. So that works fine. Lots of you have asked me, oh, can I grab the weapon even I'm not looking at it, even I'm not, not looking at the holster. And as you've just seen, it works fine, no problem whatsoever. You can simply move your controller to your chest, click on the grip button and it works. Now you use the left hand to steady the shot and that also works. You click on the touchpad to get rid of the old magazine and then you simply put in the new one loading works fine so until now i have no problems to play this and again you can grab your weapon even you're not looking at it i think that was very important to know for lots of you guys the next thing in this tutorial is the sidearm and the sidearm is on my vest so i simply move the controller to my chest to my vest here and click on the grip button and again it worked totally fine now i looked at it in this instance because i simply wanted to see what is there and no surprises it was a gun okay you can also steady the normal gun by also putting your left hand next to it works fine changing ammunition works yes that also works yeah so far I must say, I'm pretty pleased here with the Windows MR controls of Onward. I think it's cool that it works so well already because this has not been fine-tuned yet. It's not marked as Windows Mixed Reality already, so it already works pretty nice. But let's go on here with the tutorial. Now I have to turn on the radio by putting any hand to my left shoulder and clicking. And again, it worked fine. So simply put your right hand or your left hand to your left shoulder and click the trigger and the, you turn on the radio and you can communicate with your teammates. Now I have to grab the syringe. Here it is. And this I can use it to heal myself. So I have to point it towards my chest and click. And yeah, that also works. So let's see what's next. And now we can get the grenade. And it's also here at the vest. Activate and throw it away. Oh yeah, throw it really far away, good. So everything works so far. Throwing things away, getting things from the vest. No problems at all. Now getting the combat knife from my left shoulder. And here it is. Yeah, it was hidden there behind my ear all the time and putting it away. Yeah, works, works fine. So the motioning, yeah, like putting, getting something from your shoulders right and left, 
no problem in here getting this tablet from the right also no problem and yeah now i can go here to the target zone following it on the map yeah it works so i think we're done here with onward let's move to bam and here we are in bam i have to go through this door to go to the weapon training and first of all i have to open the door it's closed i have to enter the magic code of one two three in all in order to open the door all the interaction no problem you move with the touchpad and these controls just work great so now ammo pouch the ammo pouch is uh, behind your shoulder here great so i can show you if it works i'm getting it now and no problem again so you can grab stuff from your from the back of your shoulder even without looking and shooting works fine great that works so now oh yes look at this so there are lots of weapons for me to try out and i'm going to do that now for you guys for you to show you how well that works here in windows mixed reality so getting ammunition from behind your shoulder works shooting works fine great let's take another one let's take this one again ammunition unlocking it here and yep nice works great aiming shooting perfect okay now let's get to these weapons here they look a bit more dangerous <laughs> I'm going to pick this one up, get ammunition from behind my shoulder. Yes. And now I just need to find um, the way to to get this weapon ready. Uh, I should be here on the left. Ah, oh, my goodness. I have no idea about these weapons things. Here. Here it is. Yes. And now I can shoot. So, yeah. Like this. Okay. Okay, this is how it looks like if you let a perfect beginner go to this shooting stand. Okay, now this kind of weapon here. And again, let's get some ammunition. No, let's open this first. I have to open it first, I think. Yeah, get the ammunition, put it inside. Close it, load it. Yep. Steady it. And... Oh, oh yeah good and the next one oh they're getting bigger they're getting really really big here so this one it has this kind of bipod would you call this bipod probably yes so now i i stabilize it by putting the bipod down i'm loading it and getting this ready here and can I shoot now? No, not yet. But now, oh yeah, that was powerful. Good, yeah, everything works really fine. And if you had knowledge about how these weapons work, you could do that much faster than I. So for me, it's like, oh, I have to find out how these weapons work, how to get them started, and everything is like a first for me since I'm not playing these type of games normally. But for you guys, I'm trying it out, wow. This weapon is crazy. So this has lots of shots and oh, I have to stabilize it here. Putting it down and yeah. Oh yeah. I should probably play these games a bit more because this is actually fun. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, I can do some serious damage here. And as you can tell, BAM works perfectly. Now let's move on to Pavlov. And here we are in Pavlov, and it seems like I cannot turn around with the controller, but I have to do that in real life. Now, that's bad for, for this video, because I want to show you what I'm doing with the controller. Let's see if it works anyways. So I can grab stuff, and grabbing stuff works fine, and letting go of it too. So now, here is a um, grenade. I can put it somewhere. Oh no, <laughs> I lost it. But anyways, I could put it there if I would aim correctly at those spheres around me. Like this, yes. That works fine. So putting things into your holster, all these kind of things work without looking again, that's fine. Yeah. And ammunition is 
on my left holster. I can get it and I can shoot. Yep, works good. And stabilizing it with my left hand works fine. It feels really solid to shoot this weapon. How can I get let go of this? Oh yes, it works, okay. Here's another menu by clicking on the touchpad. Yep. Handles very well and now I should be able to shoot again now. Yes, works. All right, so let's move on here in this tutorial. There's one weapon lying there waiting for me and I should totally go over there now and check it out and it should be a sniper rifle so what can I learn here now here it is let me get the ammunition from my left holster here yep okay that works what to do now here and let's uh, look through the scope and shoot okay works let's put it closer to my eye and now actually I can see through the scope but you don't see it because you only see the picture of one eye, the other eye that's not looking through the scope. In the other eye I can actually look through the scope and I can see whatever I would see when I would look through the scope if you can still follow me. Now we have a little problem here because once you put the scope close to you it's fine however when you move your head left or right, when with the scope close to your eye, then it will lose tracking. So this is because your right controller is so close to the camera that it seems it stops to track. So now moving around with your head in order to, to change what you're looking at, like now, you will lose tracking. So this is a little weakness, a little bit of trouble in, in Windows MR Paradise here. So what you have to do then, you have to put the right hand a bit forward again so that the controller will be tracked like, like I do now and then you could put the scope again directly close to your eye and it will work again. However, that is a little annoyance and I would say there for sure the other tracking solutions from Oculus Rift and Vive are definitely better. So as you could tell, all the three shooters that I tried out worked really fine with the Windows Mixed Reality controllers, even though they have not yet been fine-tuned to be used with Windows Mixed Reality, and that is pretty cool, I think. Also, some of you wondered, can you get the weapon from the holster even though when you're not looking at it? And as you could tell, it worked really, really fine. Also, grabbing something from the shoulder to activate your radio or getting getting the tablet or whatever you need to do here and there, everything worked fine. Now, the only problem that I found is when you go close to look through the scope and then move, then you might lose tracking here because this controller is really close to your headset where the camera is. So then probably you might lose the tracking and then you have to go a bit back again and then you can move around. So this is a little annoyance and it might not be for those who want to play these games competitively. For all others though, though these games are completely super nice playable and even the scope thing, if you already know where you want to look, you can use the scope anyways. Just if you want to move while in the scope, you might have to go a bit further again in order to for this controller to gain tracking again. So that's it now for this video. I really hope that this was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not subscribed to Mixed Reality TV yet, do so now. I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.